Well, first of all, congratulations for your award. Oh, thanks. Big thanks. honor. Yeah, it's cool. Is this the first time you've been here in Savannah? No, I've, the second time. I think it's the third or fourth, oh, actually. Wow. Yeah, I came here six years ago. Uh, I got the Discovery Award, and it was uh, that year. It was like me, Liam Neeson, Ian McKellen, and I think Alexander Payne was there that year. And uh, yeah, I, honestly, I, I every year when I know when the festival is, I, I try and figure out a way to come down here because I enjoy it so much. Yeah. Thank you. I did. I don't know. I don't know who who deemed it a master class, but I, yeah, I rambled on for a couple minutes and you know tried to make some sense for the kids. Yeah. Uh, it's great. I mean, this the you know part of what makes this festival so unique is the fact that it is. Uh, takes place on a college campus you know and it's a it's a it's an art school and so that's uh, that's great really a lot of the time I feel like SCAD is just kind of sharing um, you know sharing itself uh, with us with the filmmakers and the actors and it's a very giving festival and that's um, you know it's another thing that just makes it so unique and special yeah it was tough, man. I mean, I think, I think, I felt like, oh, I could, I could probably get like a six pack pretty quick, and that's not how abs work. And it was like, it was, it was honestly like an eight month kind of a process for me in terms of diet and uh, working out, and and then the boxing. So, and then I had to learn this accent, and it was all. Uh, yeah, it was all challenging, but it, but very rarely do you get a part that kind of requires that much of you, and I I, I enjoyed the the challenges. Did you get to work very closely with Vinny. You know, during the prep, I really didn't I didn't meet him. You know, I I just kind of listened to a lot of interviews and I watched a lot of interviews, but I yeah I I don't know I met him once I got to Rhode Island and it was like meeting. I don't know, it's just like me, I, I never needed to like stalk somebody or like obsess about somebody in real life and I absolutely did that for Vinny and so it's kind of weird when you meet, you know, this guy you idolize and he didn't, you know, disappoint, so. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us again. Appreciate Congratulations it. again on thank the you. award. The story, what yeah. drew you to writing about this and creating this film? Uh, a childhood friend of Vinny's told me the story originally. Um, I wasn't a huge boxing fan, I've become one since after talking to Vinny. Um, but it was the comeback element. I mean, the guys won 50 fights, and that in itself is probably movie worthy, but that wasn't it for me. It was the fact that he came back from this career ending injury. Thanks, there he Miles. Is. There he is. <laughs> Did you work very closely with Vinny in telling the story and trying to get an accurate biographical? In the writing stage, very much so. Uh, when we were shooting, I think Vinny thought it was going to be just go, go, go. I don't think he understood, as you probably know, that shooting a movie is like four hours of setup and then ten minutes of shooting. So when he realized that's what the story was, he just kind of checked out, which was probably better for everyone. I'm sure. And working with Miles, did you find it difficult trying to get him into the mindset? He was telling me a little bit about the physical transformation in terms of getting into a character that's a real person. Did you find that a challenge? I didn't. Uh, he's so committed. I mean, you saw what he did in Whiplash. He does the same thing times 100 just because the physicality of this role. Within the, within the first week of him training with Freddie Roach, I knew I didn't have to sort of get involved at all. I could just let that go. There was so much. There's so many other things to do. Knowing he had that covered was like kind of a huge relief because it was just one big box I got to check off. He's a very, very committed actor. And before this film, you took a directorial little break for 11 years, I hear. Just a little, you know, 11 years. What brought you to this? What brought you to back into the film industry? Um, this story did. Kind of paralleled my break. Um, Vinny had a broken neck. I didn't make a movie for a decade. That's the same thing in Hollywood. You might as well have a broken neck. And uh, once I sort of realized the parallels between mine and Vinny's lives, because originally I wasn't supposed to direct this. It was just a writing assignment. Which is a unique way, unique way for me to come out a movie to direct, and it's kind of worked out just because I wasn't so proprietary, but I wasn't so possessive. And then as I came to realize it was my story as well, I got personally attached to it, and that, this is what the outcome was. Yeah, here we are. 
Well, congratulations again. Thank you so much for speaking with us.